but let's let's talk a little bit about our position. Right? Mm -hmm. Let's talk a little bit about office alignment. So when it comes to pass pro, right? Um, just kind of give me a rundown of what's going on in your head. So you get your play call, you get up to the line. Talk to me a little bit. What's, what's going through your head? Or what should uh uh let's say let's talk young office line. What, okay. what they, they they be going through a little bit in their head. Young office line, I would say, first of all, re recognize if it's a three-step drop or a set five to seven-step drop, and then where where the the defense alignment that you're going to be blocking is aligned on you. That that tells you how you're supposed to set, mm -hmm. how you're supposed to keep your relation to the man, mm -hmm. and I I mean I'm a firm. I'm I'm always trying to bring the fight to them, whether it's pass block or a run block. So if the three's tight, I ain't got to move too far. Get ready to throw my hands. If you're a little loose, make sure I stay square. Get ready to throw my hands. But I'll just say whether it's three, three step drop, five or seven, or play action, and yeah. how, how far away the defense alignment is from you. So that's, that's determine your set right there. Okay. Before anything. Right. And I, I definitely agree. And, and um, it's funny that you said that the part where you said you bring the fight to them. Mm -hmm. Because so watch a film again with Coach Key today, right? So we was talking, and, and this was primarily about his tackles. Yeah. So we was talking, and pretty much what was happening on film is that they were set, right, to a guy that's tight. You know, it would be a, a five. Right yeah. or just a slight loose five. Yeah. Um. So they were set, but instead of, you know, holding your ground and bringing a fight to them, they right. continue to drift. Um. You know what I mean? So they yeah. continue to drift, and then what they're doing essentially is now it was collapsing the pocket. Right. You just catch them at that point. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And that's one thing that he said that he he's uh really going to harp on this offseason is really working strikes. Right. Because yeah, yeah. so so on film they were set, set, set. And instead of keeping your ground, getting rooted, bringing the fight to them, they would take extra kicks and now drift off. Now they're catching the defender and right. striking the defender. By the time you make time you make contact with the defender, he two yards away from the quarterback, you keep drifting like that. Exactly. And that's what he pointed out. Mm -hmm. So it was a seven seven step drop. Mm -hmm. And he didn't make contact with the defender until five or six yards in the backfield. Oh, yeah, it's too late now. Yeah, it's too yeah. late. So now he got too much momentum. Way too much. Right. Way too much momentum. Um. So so yeah. So how 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 important is it to switch up your set? So uh, I I so to to kind of give you a little rundown, right? So I have mm -hmm. I see people all the time talking about the same set, right? Get vertical, get vertical this, get vertical that. So with me, and you know how I am, I'm switching my setup. I'm not right. about to set vertical, especially if the guy is tight on me, right. the guy's touching me, if he's just a little bit loose, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So you gotta, you definitely gotta show them different things. Because if I'm setting vertical all game. He gonna figure out a plan to beat that eventually. He's gonna figure out a plan. The whole time. So, so talk to me a little bit about you know the different sets you used to do or that you still do and why you did. I would say like I would say it's good to have you know your go to like what you what you really good at, mm -hmm. but you got you got to you got to play with your set or or play with your hands or do something different because I mean those guys are pretty good football players too. Yeah. Eventually, you keep giving them the same thing, they're gonna beat you. Right. And it might not even be a technique standpoint. It's just something that that you constantly giving them. They're constantly going to take. Mm -hmm. So I would say, honestly, it, it depends on the t the the play call. You know, the drop and all those things as well. But um, you, you just got to change it up because that was one of the first things I learned when I was when I first got into the NFL. Because in college, in high school, you get away with it a little bit. Guys aren't like elite pass rushers yet, but Guys that get paid million dollars a game. Oh, 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 it depends on who you're going against. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it depends now. I, I had to go know. against Clowney, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, that boy got all kind of tools. <laughs> but all type of moves. All type of moves. He go, yeah, yeah, yeah. But he 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 one of the different ones though. Yeah, he yeah. One of the different oh, ones, but hold on. Before, before you go, who was the best guy you went against in college? Uh, Sheldon Richardson. Ooh. We played Missouri. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was good. That's good. He just—he was talented and he had a motor. So that's a good one. That, that, that's what it, that's what it was. Yeah, Sheldon in college probably Sheldon Richardson, and then yeah, that's a good one. The second probably be Daquan Jones. He played Which one? Daquan Daquan Jones when we played Penn State our senior year. Oh, okay, senior okay. Year. Daquan Jones. Yeah. Yeah. Daquan's pretty good too. Yeah. We played. How was uh? How was Ohio State? Uh, what's his name? Oh, uh, Hankins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was he was pretty good too, but the because they ran ran the three four. Okay, so yeah, he was he was on the stage most of the time. Yeah. So I didn't really if I was blocking him, Derry was blocking him first, and I was getting right. to him. So I didn't really get to see, but yeah. wasn't it was three? So he was over me pretty much the whole game. Yeah, that that boy was good. Okay. Yeah, that was a, a booker play. So that so so that's and 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 that's exactly what I'm saying. So if I'm going again certain people they require a certain set exactly you know what i mean you know if i'm going against a big guy who's you know i'm trying to think of of, of, a, of a big d tackle um yeah let's say i'm going against hankins if i'm going against hankins mm -hmm. i'm not about to keep setting back on this guy the whole time and give him a head start and give him a head start mm -hmm. you know this guy's 350 330 whatever he was mm -hmm. I'm, I'm trying to get on him now if right. the protection and everything calls for it, I'm getting on him now, ASAP. Because it don't make no sense giving somebody that big that much momentum. Right. You might as well take the fight to him. And exactly. Then if it's somebody that's a, if it's somebody that's a little quicker, like I ain't trying to dance with you the whole time either. Because right. eventually you're gonna beat me like that too. Yeah. I gotta get up on you fast too. It, it all depends on the type of player you're going against too. That's I should have said that too when you when you uh assessing how you're going to take your sets. Right. You got to determine what, kind, what type of player you're going against. Mm -hmm. And then another thing, too, is you have to understand yourself as a player, too. Yeah. And that's you, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Too, yeah. Because, you go out there because and if you've seen somebody do, and then you know that ain't you. I know I ain't got no long arms. I ain't finna be flashing nothing and give you little stubby things. Chop, boy. Right. Right. You better stay away from me <laughs> because, man, I'm, I think back to, to me. You know what I mean? I'm 6'3 at left tackle. There's mm -hmm. no way I'm setting vertical all the time, no. especially if I'm going against guys with longer arms. Right, exactly. Like, I'm yeah. going yeah, to be on skates 24-7. Mm -hmm. You know, 